Hi friends and thanks for tuning in. In this video, we're going to see how to create name tags using Mail Merge in Microsoft Word, pulling names out of Microsoft Excel, and we'll also be using a logo or an image like you see here in the final result. So let's talk through how I got here. The first thing you need to figure out is the label that you're going to be printing on. And there are tons of different options out there from different manufacturers. I've just chosen the Avery label here for name badges, and the number is 5395. So I'll just make a note of that. There are lots of others that are supported as well. This is just a random choice of mine. But let's head over to Microsoft Word and get this set up. So I've got just a blank document open here on the left. I haven't done anything with it yet. And then over on the right is the data that I'm going to be pulling out of Excel to print on the name badges. Now, everything I'm going to show you will work on other mail merge templates as well, like regular mailing labels or even letters. So anything where you've got your data in Excel and you're pulling it over to Word. OK, let me just expand Word to give us a little bit more space here. And then I'm going to come up to Mailings on the ribbon and Start Mail Merge and Labels. And then here's where we pick that particular template, the one out in Amazon, the Avery. In my case, this was Avery US Letter. And then the number, 5395, the adhesive name badges, I'll select that. But like I said, there's lots of other products available here, different manufacturers. So if you're using something else, just pick that and then pick the specific product number down here that matches that template. And then say OK. Next, we need to choose where we're getting our data. So this is coming from the Excel workbook that I just showed you. But we'll come up here and say, select recipients from an existing list. That existing list is Excel. So I'll choose that file here and say Open. This is the name of the tab in the workbook. And then very important, the first row of data contains headers. So if I open up that Excel workbook, that is true. My first row does have headers. If it doesn't, if yours just starts with the actual data, then make sure you deselect this checkbox. But for me, I'm going to leave that selected and say OK. And that will give us the basic layout based on the template. So this is the size of the name tag that matches that Avery 5395 label that I'm going to be printing on. Now, one thing I like to do just to make it easier to see things is if you come up here to Home, turn on your paragraph marker here, the Show Hide button, so you can see where your return carriages are and so on. And then you might also want to select the table by selecting your arrow here and just making all of those borders visible, just so you can see where the labels are. Now, if you print it like this, it's going to print those borders. So we'll have to remember to go turn the borders off. But just to get things set up and better understand what's going on here, I think it's helpful to be able to see them. OK, so first, let's put the image in, the logo that we're going to be using. And to do that, I will insert pictures. Now I have that logo on my computer, on my device, so I'm going to select that. I've got the logo here. This might be a headshot or really any other kind of image you want to insert. But place it here, and I'm going to resize. Just drag that outer corner, and I think that looks pretty good. Now we need to insert the merge fields for first name, last name, title, whatever we want to put on this name badge. To do that, we'll come back up to Mailings and Insert Merge Field. So I'm going to do first name, space, last name, and then I'll drop down to a new line just by hitting the Return key. We'll insert Title. So all of these merge fields are coming over from Excel since we hooked that up. So you might see something different if you have different columns in your Excel workbook. But I want title, and then new line again. Let's do new merge field for city. OK, perfect. Now I can resize these, make them bold, make them larger, whatever I want to do. But one other thing you might want to play around with is the position of the image here. If you just click on this, you'll get this little menu fly out here for layout options. By default, yours will probably be in line with text, 
which is where it is now. But if you need to wrap text around it or something like that, you can choose some of these other options. So with text wrapping, you'll see that puts it just to the right of the image. Try some of the other ones here. So play around with it. For the most part, this one tends to work for me, but you might need to switch your options here depending on what you're printing. Okay, so that's our first label. Now you could copy and paste this to all of the other labels, but there's a very handy shortcut here called Update Labels, which will basically take what we've done in this first one and make all of the other labels the same. Perfect, there we go. Now you might notice that the logo is moved over on these, but don't worry about that. This next record field here doesn't actually print. That just says move to the next record of the Excel workbook. So it's going to grab the second person in the sheet, the third person in the sheet, and so on. So it should actually print over to the left, just like this one does. So don't worry about that. And that's basically all we need to do. Now we can finish the merge. So up here, finish merge. And if we edit individual documents, this will bring up a brand new document with the merge results, which we can then edit, print, and so on. Or if you want to send it to the printer, you can do that. Be careful with this though, especially if you have hundreds and hundreds of documents that you're going to print. Usually you want to make sure that everything looks okay before you send it to the printer. And then you can also email. But let's just do edit individual documents. We'll merge all. You can just merge certain records though if you want to. But we'll go with all and say okay. And here's the end result. Looking good. So again, before you print, you might want to select your tables and go remove the border just so it doesn't print out, but everything else is looking good. So that's how you can create name badges with images using MailBarge with Microsoft Excel. If you found that helpful, give me a thumbs up on the video and also think about subscribing for more content like this. Thank you so much for watching.